it's Christmas time and there's no need to be afraid. Yes, there is, because I'm about to do some cooking. It's another blooming episode of Mar Makes a Meal of It. What's he gonna do this time, mate? I tell you, none other than a Christmas log. For some reason, these uh, Christmas idiots have called it a Yule log, probably to save on uh, font printing. Let's get it out of the packet. It must have been cold in that superstore because there's snow on it. I'm going to taste the log and then from tasting it, guess what the ingredients are and try and replicate a log half as nice as this particular character. It's about, it's about as firm as it, I would say a gymnast's um, backside intermediate level gymnast. Uh, flour, eggs, sugar, butter, cocoa, some sort of icing sugar, or caster sugar, dusting, and I might add a decoration, my very own Robin, so I use up this log. I think it's time to go to the shops. been down the shops and I've done business, hard business. And what's the first thing you do when you're gonna cook a cake? You put the oven on. It just gives the whole kitchen an air of, this guy knows what he's doing. Uh, how'd you turn this oven on, Paul? That's Mark 5, that's what they all say normally, isn't it? It's good if the butter's warm, so what you can do is just warm it with your hands. Do you know what they say? Cold heart, warm hands, and mine are like volcanoes. Get a bowl, first of all. Make sure it's empty before you put anything in it. You can do this by turning it upside down, um, and then that should have got rid of all the things. Also, wash your hands. Look at the size of the, the existing log. What you want to do is, if you put all the ingredients that you're going to put in, alongside it, you can guess, sort of, by that, if you look at this, you approximately need to put half of everything in to get to that size. So first of all, put in half the flour, two eggs. How long should you beat the eggs for? Well, what I like to do is think about all the bad things I've done in my life and by the time I've forgiven myself, that is how long it takes. If in doubt, add more eggs. Three eggs. Three eggs and a cup of water. Slowly put the water in. That is making things look even more, more repulsive. Get the butter and put it in your fist. If you can still punch someone in the face holding the butter and forming your fist, that should be enough butter. Think of it as dismembering a body, maybe. You take off the head, arms, legs, and that will give you the six pieces. In retrospect, you would just heat the butter in a pan and then pour it in rather than putting the whole butter in. It's not breaking up, but hopefully it will break up when it gets in the pan. I mean, the texture is very lumpy. I suppose these could be the knots in the, the knots in the log, you know, a, a tree that would have knots in them. So in many ways, this would be more a more realistic tree. A lot of people have these Christmas logs and think, oh, right, that's a nice cake. I hope people eat this and say, oh, well, it actually tastes like a tree. That's the real sign of a chef. One for baby Jesus. And sprinkle that in. And then one uh, for Mary and then one for Joseph. I bet you're probably thinking, well, it certainly looks like the texture of a chocolate log. It doesn't look like the colour of the chocolate log. That's right, mate. 
No. Just wrinkle it in until it's just that it looks chocolatey. I should have melted that butter, shouldn't I? Right. Mm -mm. Delish. What next, Marek? Well, get a pan. You just put some butter on it, just in case. Cover the pan with a grease-proof paper. I presume if you've got a log and you just blended it down, it would very much look like this. This is, a, this is the sort of dog turd you have nightmares about because you can't pick it up and put it in the black bags. Got my lovely pre-log and I'm going to put this in the oven at gas mark five for a period of time. Merry Christmas! And that will hopefully infect it with the necessary amount of Christmas spirit to give it um, a bit of flavour. How would you make cream? Okay, let's lightly melt some butter. If in doubt, uh, always use the small uh, hob because the mistakes aren't so big in general. I'm just letting that ease, ease into it. Cooking, I find, is equivalent of slowly losing faith in yourself. What I don't like is that some people who are watching this you can cook and think, oh, what an idiot. There's plenty of things that I can do that they can't, which I'm not able to think of at the moment, but rest assured, I'm probably still better than you. Flour. Two handfuls of flour. The melted butter. A fair dash of sugar. Get your second best fork. Some of that water from earlier. I mean, it's got nut. It just tastes like the worst of the worst of sugar, the worst of butter, and the worst of flour. <sighs> what a waste of food. At Christmas, we talk about starving children in Africa and what we could do to feed them. I like to make something like this Christmas log, so they try a bit and they think to themselves, well, actually, I don't want to eat again anyway, so it's not so bad after all, which is a different way of thinking, and I think possibly revolutionary would save a lot of money. Something is happening. Half cook the butter. Leave that for someone else to do. A bit of sugar. Two scoops. Two <laughs> scoops of milk. So that's completely the wrong texture. A bit of flour to solidify that. That tastes a lot nicer than number one. Right, solidify. 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 <laughs> An egg white. An egg white. This is the sort of thing people use egg whites in. Just get the egg white. Can I get food poisoning off this? Probably several hundred children in China doing this right now for Christmas dogs. I bet they're not having a nice Christmas. No, I don't celebrate Christmas, that's why. That tastes absolutely disgusting. A bit of cocoa powder, that will thicken it up. It's better to make something that tastes bad and chocolatey than just something that just take, tastes bad. Icing sugar. That is working, my friend. More icing sugar. Captain's log, approximately 15 minutes. I can't remember how long I was trying to make icing sugar for. Well, that's gonna have to do. It looks like I've managed to make a massive bit of meat out of non-savory products. And I particularly like the um, effect as if someone um, spat on it several times. 
the flour was a mistake. I'm going to put this into the discard pile, your third favourite fork. Come on, mate. Right, butter. Slightly burnt, doesn't matter. I'll give it that genuine thing of being, a, um, being on the fire. Egg white, not that bit. This is the fourth fork I've used. Mix that together. Cocoa powder. Try and ignore that, Mr. Mixture. Try and ignore all that icing sugar. I'm gonna leave it to settle. Leave it to settle, yeah. And I'm going to make the Christmas Robin. And I'm going to make this into a Robin. And I'm gonna just use that. And feel free to do it roughly because that's how colouring applies in, in real life. I'll move the decoration over to this side. Here we have the basis of the log, and now, oh. I mean, from a distance, you'd think that was a tree. That is just solid sugar. We gently pour the icing over the log. This. Don't worry if it breaks because people only really watch the outside of it. And it's sort of not rolling, it's just breaking. To hide all this, melt some chocolate and put that on top. That's sticking to the bottom of the pan. As you spread it, you can make the indentations with the fork to give it that log-like look. It might not look the same as the snow on the original one. That is simply because every snowflake is different. Well, I finished my chocolate log. It cost me probably some about 20 pounds. I actually need a knife, that's a bad sign. If any, it feels as though you're cutting it into wood a lot more, sawing into wood, whereas the actual one feels like a cake. So realistically, I would say it tastes like a chocolate cardboard. And seeing as cardboard is, basically wood. Theoretically, that is a lot more like a chocolate log wood taste. That tastes approximately 1,000 times nicer than my cake. I can't believe it's gone that badly, actually. A lot of people think, well, I did it on purpose, but I genuinely tried my best to do a chocolate log, and I have failed. But what have I learned from today's cooking? I've liaised with my cameraman, who's a better cook than I am, and he said I probably needed to buy some cream if I was going to make a creamy filling. I mean, a clue in a creamy filling, then it's difficult to make your own cream. And that I needed something to make the cake rise, so some sort of self-raising flour or something like that I should have used. And I shouldn't have melted the chocolate directly in the pan, I should have done it in a bowl on top of a pan. I mean, it looks like a lot more has gone wrong than that, to be honest. I'm actually getting worse, I'm actually getting worse at cooking. I think what we've learned is, it's almost always better to buy things from the shop. Saves money and your life and your self-esteem. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy any of that experience. Happy cooking. see me trying to cook a fish meal, why not click on this link here? Or if you're interested in how not to cook a lasagna, click on this link here. Alright, bye.